Hey guys, what's going on? CG and Keith here, and today I will be doing something completely new that I've never done before, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Number 10 on the list that I feel is the most deserving Pokemon to receive a Mega Evolution in the remakes of Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire would have to be the Pokemon that goes by the name of Jirachi. The reason I feel that Jirachi deserves a Mega Evolution is because, well, just look at it. It's tiny. I feel like it is a major powerhouse, but it is just, it doesn't look like it. It has some really kick-ass moves, like Doom Desire, and if you set it up right, uh, Future Sight, and also Last Resort, but it just doesn't look the part. I'm sorry, this one, it being number 10, is just purely aesthetic for me, pretty much, because its stats are, I believe, 100, yes, 100, all the way across the board. That's not bad. There are far worse Pokemon than that. So, let's go ahead and move on to number 9. The Pokemon that I feel is the most deserving of my number 9 spot would have to be Camerupt. I love Camerupt, just for one reason, because of how he looks. He looks like a badass that is just gonna, you know, just run through everything, uh, roll over everything. It just doesn't matter what's in his way. Like, he's an unstoppable force of nature, and he is, in sense, a mountain and a volcano all in one. Uh, with that, I also feel that he should get a boost in defense and special defense whenever he Mega Evolves. His defense and special defense stats are pretty low, being 70 and 75, respectively. And his speed stat is the lowest of all of them. If there was a thing that could be increased, it would be the speed stat, then the defense stat, then the special defense stat, where he would also get a reduction in his physical attack and his special attack. So let's go ahead and move on to number eight. Coming in at number eight is the Pokemon Relicanth. Relicanth, to me, has always held a special place in my heart just because of the way it looked and the whole mystery going around it that it was uh, a that it is an ancient pokemon and that it only should exist in ancient times but here it is and just you know there's like a background to it that was really intriguing for me at the time and so moving on to the stats of relicanth relicanth is definitely a physical based pokemon it has a 90 attack and a 130 defense stat uh, on the downside, its special attack is 45, special defense is 65, and its speed is 55. If it were to receive a Mega Evolution, which I hope it does, I would say that it needs to have an increase in speed while also having its physical defense lowered. So that is uh, what I think would need to be done uh, for Relicanth if it were to receive a Mega Evolution. Now let's move on to number 7. Number 7 is Tropius. Tropius has always been an, eh, an okay Pokemon as far as stats go, and actually using it in battle, it learns uh, some pretty good moves, but focusing on the stats here, it definitely needs some kind of buff. The speed comes in at a low 51, and the physical attack is also a low 68. It primarily focuses on HP, defense, and special defense, with its special attack being only 72. If it were to receive a Mega Evolution, I feel that it would need to have increased speed and special attack while potentially lowering HP and special defense a little bit. Now, this would put it at a great risk for ice types, but as is it can take a hit, but that's just about it, potentially just one hit. So I feel like if it were to receive another boost, it would need to be in probably a special defense boost, which is its second highest stat, and in turn lower the physical defense. So Tropius is number seven, and let's move on to number six. Number six on the list is Sharpedo! With that, Sharpedo is all about sending it out onto the battlefield. It quickly 
going out there, attacking physically, and then hopefully one-shotting the opponent's Pokemon. It doesn't have defense or special defense worth anything. Those are only 40. Its highest stat is its physical attack with 120, and its next highest is its speed at 95. It is a physical attacker that focuses on speed. It is crucial for this thing to probably be stacked if you want to use it in any sort of competitive sort of manner. So, you know, you would want to use moves that would, like, transfer stats that you raised from one Pokemon over to this one, send it out, and then, boom, hopefully it gets the job done. You want to focus on type advantage as well with Sharpedo. I feel that Sharpedo deserves a Mega Evolution because it only has one evolution to get to Sharpedo. Plus, I think the thing would look badass if it had a Mega Evolution. I mean, it's a shark, and it's water dark type, and not much is super effective against it. There's like three, four things, but uh, it has some really kick-ass moves, and I just think overall, like I said, the thing would look like a badass, and that is why I feel it deserves the spot for number six. Let's move on to number five. Coming in the number five spot, it has to be Torkoal. Torkoal it just doesn't have a, any evolution at all. And I feel it is losing great potential because of that. Its stats, uh, the highest one is defense with it being 140, and its lowest is its speed being 20. And that makes sense with its speed because it is a turtle. So what I would go ahead and suggest with this, if it were to receive a mega evolution, what I would like to see is its uh, attacks probably being boosted or its HP being boosted. If it were to boost the attacks, I would say lower the physical defense down just a little bit. I'm not even going to bother with speed because the speed is so low. It would need an insane buff to even make any sense of boosting up the speed. So I'm just going to leave the speed as is. Uh, another thing would be maybe lowering the defense a little, the physical defense, to raise the HP some, because the HP is only 70, while the defense is double that being at 140. Torkoal uh, could also use maybe a small type change, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe it would be a good fire poison type. Uh, it's smoke that it produces could turn into like a poisonous smoke kind of thing. I don't know, just ideas, but definitely something that would be cool, interesting to see. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see how that all works out. Let's go ahead and move on to number four. Coming in at number four, it has to be my baby from the Hoenn region, which is none other than Metagross. Uh, Metagross, to me, has always been probably one of the Pokemon I will always use in any playthrough of the Hoenn region games. If it's even in a Pokemon game, I am going to make it my mission to go ahead and get one. No matter how much training it takes or how difficult it is to obtain one, I will get one. Uh, I love the way it looks, and with that, it's just like a tank, pretty much. If it were to get a Mega Evolution, I would just flip out. Like, I would lose my crackers, and things would be spilt all over the floor. And uh, anyway, uh, it would look amazing. I'm sure of it, because as it is right now, like, you know, its arms or its legs can actually, like, attach to its side, and it can spin kind of like a top and hover and levitate. So that's really cool. They could do a really amazing job with making it look cooler. They could put like some steel spikes coming off of it, you know, make it look like a deadlier top or something like that. They could have it permanently in like levitate mode. I don't know, just ideas here. But for the stats, I would say its speed and its HP need to be increased while it takes from its attack for the speed and its defense for the HP. Let's go ahead and move on to number three. Number three for me is Mightyena. Mightyena has average stats, I guess you could say. It's actually lacking in a lot of things like special attack, special defense, and even its HP, defense, and speed are kind of low at 70. The only good thing it has is a 90 base stat attack, and 
most of its moves are luckily physical attack based. Uh, it needs a mega evolution to bump up the HP, the defense, the special attack, the special defense, and the speed. What I would primarily focus on, though, is probably the physical defense, the special defense, and the speed. Uh, I really don't know if a stat could be lowered in this case. Uh, you could do the physical attack, but it's already its base stats are at a low score of 420 for the total. So I would actually say with its Mega Evolution, nothing needs to be lowered. In this case, it majorly all should be raised a little. If anything, its speed and probably special defense need to be raised the most. Plus, uh, it only has one evolution coming from Poochiana. So a, another evolution stage would be really cool and really interesting to see. I could imagine they would, could make it look really badass because it is essentially like a dog. And uh, I mean, come on, you know, we all like dogs. So uh, they could make it look really cool. And yeah, I would just be, I'm hoping that uh, it will receive a mega evolution. I feel confident that it will, given what they have done mega evolutions of already, such as Absol. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into number two. In the number two spot, we have Swallow. I think Swallow needs a Mega Evolution because it only has one stage coming from Taylor to Swallow. And its base stats are... Its speed is amazing. Its physical attack is... It's okay. It's good. It's good. But its HP, its special attack, and its special defense are just crap. Like, just straight up. They're 60, 50, and 50, respectively. And its uh, physical defense is also 60 going along with its HP. So I feel that its uh, special defense would need a boost because of things like uh, Thunderbolt, which are super effective against it, or Electro Ball, or you know something along those lines. Most electric type attacks are special, so I feel like its special defense would need a boost. In turn, it could sacrifice some of its uh, physical attack maybe, but definitely some of its speed. That's its key factor that it plays on is its speed. Plus. I think they could make this thing look really cool. It w it could have like uh, it could be larger in size, definitely. They could do something with like the red, you know, like the red coloring on it. They could maybe because it has like two points coming off of its tail. They could have it uh, have more points like that. I don't know. Put like some spikes on there, just something. Uh, they could do like indentions in the wings to make it look cooler you know, like a different pattern or something on the bottom of it. They could do a lot of really cool things, and those are the factors why I feel that it deserves a mega evolution. So let's move on to my favorite and number one spot, Breloom. The number one Pokemon that I am most excited to hopefully see a mega evolution for is Breloom. Reason being is I always loved the grass fighting combination. It was like you could use leech seed on an opponent and then, you know, you'd get their health at the same time. You could also be using like sky uppercut or something to do massive damage on it. And I never really had an issue using a Breloom except for the flying type gem that we don't we don't talk about those dark days. We just we just ignore that. But moving on. Breloom stats are pretty good. It's Physical attack coming in at 130, its defense at 80, and its speed at 70. Uh, if it were to get an improvement, I would definitely say take from the physical attack and give it to the HP and the physical defense. Uh, the thing, like, can't really take a hit, especially from flying types. I understand with flying types, it's four times effective, but I feel like it should be able to take at least one hit. I feel like every Pokemon should be able to at least take one hit. So with that being said, that is why a Breloom is my number one. Also, it looks really cool. I like the whole thing. It stands up, you know, coming from Shroomish to Breloom, it's basically like it grew an entire body from just its head and it has like little pointy like hands and its feet and its tail, and it's just overall a massive, uh, massive amount of potential in a Pokemon to have a Mega Evolution. So with that being said, this concludes my top 10 picks for my personal, opinional Pokemon that deserve a Mega Evolution in the remakes 
which are Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which I will definitely be playing and picking up. I think I'm going to be picking up both of them. So, you know, woo! can't wait for that. And with all that, I will catch you all later.